Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Kawagama TV. And this is kind of a special edition. You know, if you look around, you can see right now when I'm shooting this, it is snowing. But by the time I put this up on the website, the season will be over. The trails will be showing not available. And this yard where I'm standing right now will be filled with grooming equipment because this is the heart of the Tall Pine Snowmobile Club, the physical heart of the club. It's right here, this building, and this is where the groomers will be stored for the winter. The groomers from the Algonquin Snowmobile Club come down here to be serviced. And most of you don't see this place, but more importantly, I wanted to talk about the people and the people that made this such a successful season, given we didn't even get started until February. But for the Tall Pines group, it's Gary and Charmaine Evans. You know, Gary's the president of the club. He's the guy that deals with the OFC, OFSC. He's the guy that deals with the Muskoka Snowmobile region and really makes things happen for here. Uh, he's the guy that's working on the new shelter over by Raven Lake. And Charmaine's the person who has that wonderful job of going out and managing all the trail permits, make sure those of us who do trail permits, do it right. She collects the money. She kind of organizes behind the scenes and keeps the whole thing going. Then you've got four really important people who have done a fabulous job this year. They're the ones that make your trails so good. So we've got Sean Evans, uh, Gary and Charmaine's son. We've got Leonard Payne. We've got um, Warren Black and Devin McKay. Those are the four people who primarily go out and run the groomers. And think about it, sometimes they're out there nine and 10 hours a night so that you and I can go out and enjoy that snowmobiling. So a big thank you to Sean, a big thank you to Leonard, a big thank you to Warren, and a big thank you to Devin, because they have other things to do besides getting the trails ready for us, but they do a fabulous job. And I gotta mention Gary, because once in a while he'll get out there and groom. Now there's three other people I wanna mention because they volunteer their time they're not heralded, but they go out there and they help stake the lake, they help brush the trails, they help get things ready so that we can get going. Steve Jones and Gord McBride and Jim Spears. Those are the three guys that we see out there on a regular basis making things happen. And Jim, you know, he lives south of Paint Lake, but he comes up and helps make sure this is a great area to snowmobile. Steve and Gord have been doing it for a long time, but both of them have regular jobs. So I wanted to mention those people because they make the season possible for the Tall Pine Snowmobile Club. Now I don't want to leave out Tim and Scott and the team up north in Algonquin and Doug and Marlene and all those folks because they do a fabulous job. Ted and the whole crew down in Basel, I don't want to forget them. But we are in the Tall Pines area and I wanted to especially mention that group because they've done such a fabulous job. So, while it doesn't look like it, the season is now officially over. The trails are no longer available. But a big thank you to everyone at the Algonquin Snowmobile Club, at the Tall Pine Snowmobile Club, Happy Wanderers, the Do You Wanna Us, all the gang made it a great year. So thank you from Kawagama TV, brought to you by Mountain Trout House Marina.